What are you doing on my lounge, man? Guess we're gonna see it. Come on, come here, get off my lounge. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a uh, collective haul video. It's mostly uh, luxury, but there are a few pieces that are not luxury. Uh, if you do like videos all about fashion and luxury and you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos, which is twice a week on a Wednesday and on a weekend. So diving right into today's video, I'm gonna start off with, we'll just start off with the non-luxury items first and then we'll go into the luxury later because I've only got a couple items that are technically non-luxury. Um, the first one, we might as well just do this one first because it's kind of different to everything else that I'm going to be showing today. But this is uh, Golly Gummies. They are apple cider vinegar gummies. You probably have already seen them. They were on the Ellen show. Uh, but essentially, they are apple cider vinegar in gummy form. So I'll show you one anyway. I've already taken my... Um, Actually, you can take two, you can take two gummies at a time, uh, three times a day. The maximum amount is six, but for my husband and I, we just take uh, two gummies each once a day, which is equivalent of like an apple cider vinegar shot. And um, apple cider vinegar has a lot of, like a lot of benefits. It's got uh, immune boosting. Um, I think it's also uh, energy production, um, uh, help to reduce appetite. Uh, cholesterol levels, there's a whole heap of things to do with apple cider vinegar. So this is the actual gummy, so they are like a squidgy gummy, they taste really really nice. Um, now yeah, they were gifted to me, I do have a coupon code, we have already repurchased it, so I have actually repurchased these, bought them myself, but I do have a coupon code which is purse on fleek, and you can get 5% off. Sometimes they do promotions where you can get more, you can get 10% off. Yeah, whenever they've got a bigger discount, I will mention it on my Instagram, but generally it's 5% off with my code purse on fleek. For us, when we repurchased it, we bought the five bottles because it's better value. That way, obviously, like buying in bulk is always better value. And we already felt the effects of it anyway, like after we tried the product for a good, I think it was about two weeks and we already noticed that we were getting increased energy levels. That was the biggest thing that we noticed. I'm not sure about like suppressing appetite, maybe, I don't know, maybe I guess, I haven't really been feeling like overly indulgent lately, but yeah, um, link in the description bar down below. The next one that I have is from a store on Instagram, they are called In A Bag Shop, so this is a bag that it came in, uh, they're an Instagram store, they are actually bag straps that are made in Korea, and wow, I, pa I paid for these myself, um, can I tell you though? These bag straps are amazing. Like, I am so impressed. I've only bought two, but now I've actually ordered more. Yeah, these straps, wow. Like, they are for my, going to be for my Hermes bags. So, the first one is this. And you can actually customize the leather tab. So, she does have, like, different ways of doing the leather tab. And you can get whatever color you want. Like, she's got heaps of colors. Like, Epsom leather, Swift. Togo, yeah, she's got a heap of colors and uh, leathers that you can pick from. So I chose Swift and I chose like a, a kind of like a Sakura pink. And then I chose the um, gold hardware in this format because you can actually get different clips. But I chose the one that looks like the, sort of looks like the Hermes clip. So I'll get you the, um, one of my straps that has gold hardware just so you can compare. So this is 100 centimeters. And if I bring up close... You see the detailing in that? Like this is actually real canvas. This is all woven uh, cotton thread, that detailing. It is absolutely amazing. I am so wowed by the quality of this. It is well worth the price. Like I think it was around about $80 a strap. I paid um, PayPal friends and family. So if you pay PayPal invoice, it will be like, I think 5% more. Uh, so this is my bleed strap. So the hardware is a little bit different, of course, because this is not, Hermes hardware, this is Hermes, but still it's similar enough that it would look great on your handbag. So that one is the Bleed, the Hermes one, and this is the um, hardware that I got with the strap, this side. So there, yeah, little, this is a little bit smaller, the gold's a bit more, um, oh I kind of would say the gold is really close, but the, yeah, the gold looks more polished, obviously on the Hermes one, it looks more sharper, clearer, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this. This is amazing. And I've got another one as well, of course. It does come with a dust bag. Um, 
Not that I really probably use the dust bag. I probably just put it away, you know, let my daughter use it or whatever. This is the other one I got. So this is 105 centimeters and this is gonna be for my Kelly bag. And I picked, um, again, Swift Leather, same style leather tab. And this is the silver hardware. As you can see, they're similar style clips to the Hermes one. Oh, let me get my strap from my Kelly. This is probably more closer to Etoupe, the color of the leather tab, but still gray, gray asphalt and Etoupe are really close anyway. It looks like the um, inner bag store, their clip is just a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit. Um, the silver on this does look different as well. You probably can't really see with, with this camera because of the lighting, but I feel like the silver on this is a little bit more like a lighter color. This is a bit more palladium, well, which would make sense because the Hermes hardware is actually palladium hardware, not silver, whereas this is like an actual real silver looking hardware. So yeah, both these straps from Inner Bag Shop. I'm gonna leave their details down below in the description bar. I am so, so, so pleased with these. Like if you are looking for the Hermes straps and you don't wanna pay that price because you just, can't look you know what to be quite frank it's not about the fact that i don't want to pay the price of the hermes straps because that would be ridiculous that would be hypocrisy because i buy the hermes bags right what i don't want to do is be buying only one hermes strap because they are like 1600 dollars a pop for the 25 millimeter one which is this thickness here the 25 millimeter and then have the strap only limited to one bag. Because for example, with the Hermes Sangle straps, they come in lengths of 75, 85, 95, 105. If I buy a 105 centimeter strap with silver hardware, I would be limited to only be able to use that with my Kelly bag because I don't have any other silver hardware bags that have an inter interchangeable strap. Um, so that's the problem that I would have is that I would then need to go and buy another strap in gold hardware for my bleed, you know, or for the Picatinny. For the bleed, like you may, again, because of the handles are higher, you might need a longer strap as well. And just all these sorts of variables that I feel, I felt stressed actually trying to look for an Hermes strap, like looking online to buy one. And I, and I couldn't decide which one I even wanted to buy or order with my sales associate because there were so many complexities to my handbags. Like it wasn't just clear cut. I, I haven't got like three Kelly 25s in silver hardware to say I only need one strap for crossbody at the 105 centimeters and I'd be done. I, I'm just, there's just too many complexities. So I felt like why would I go ahead and buy this Hermes strap when I'm not gonna be satisfied that I'm gonna get value for money for it because I can't interchange it between bags and I'm paying $1,600 for it for the, only the 25 millimeter thickness one, you know, okay? So that is why I've now got these ones from Inner Bag Shop and then I'm gonna have more coming and I'll reveal the other ones to you when they do arrive. It takes about 12 days for her to make the straps as well, but the delivery was super quick. Honestly, I think I got the straps within like about six days or something like that. They were sent express to me anyway. So yeah, that is it for non-luxury items. Um, now let's move on to my luxury purchases. So let's start with, let's do Chanel. I have a uh, Chanel, I have two Chanel items that I have to reveal. One is bought brand new and it is actually from a store called Ny, NY Milan, Ny Milan. They're very well known on eBay. They're also well known on Vestier Collective. Um, he is a, like a retailer for Chanel and I think, like he's not a retailer, how do I put it? He's not a personal shopper, he's kind of a retailer but he's a retailer for other brands like as well. But I think what it is is that he actually gets the sales stock because I noticed that when he's selling items, he doesn't really have a big variety of sizes or multiple quantities. It's usually only one odd size here and there sort of thing. So yeah, um, these I picked up from that store and they are actually um, a replacement for the other Chanel um, sandals that I did sell while well, they are sold, they're just being sold on payment plan, so I still have them, but these are technically the replacement for them, and this is the colorway that I wanted. So that is why I ended up selling the other ones. I'll put a picture on the screen of the other ones I'm talking about, and I had decided to get these ones because this is really, from the get-go, the colorway I always wanted. It's just that they never came in Australia. Um, yeah, we kind of don't really get the best of colors in Australia, unfortunately, the best of our stock. We're a bit... Um, I think, you know what, at the end of the day, Australia has only a population of around, I think it's like 22 million or something compared to like a billion for the US. So that's why we just don't get as much. But yeah, these are the sandals that I picked up and I actually ended up paying just under retail price anyway. So I'm really happy about that. I think it worked out to be about 
$1,500 Australian and the retail price is $1,680 for these. So I'm super happy with these and I feel like they suit my feet a lot more than the other ones because the other ones was just way too much black and um, I have like unless I actually tan uh, usually I'm quite fair so I felt like that real like that black contrast with my very pale skin was just yeah it was a bit too too much and the next one I don't have a box for them so they are Chanel sandals I picked these up from Rakuten Ichiba it used to be Rakuten Global Marketplace now it's just Rakuten Ichiba so you can still shop from Japan you just have to use uh, Rakuten Ichiba and then use the Rakuten Global Express um, on forwarding service for, for places that don't ship international I'll have the um, details linked down below for this for like Rakuten um, and the Rakuten Global Express to sign up but yeah these are the Chanel ugly sandals they were purchased pretty loved but they were in like excellent condition they look like they've only been worn a couple times but I have since wore them so I'm not going to show you the underside because it's a bit eh. you can probably already see there's like dirt on it and that is actually from me from me wearing them to go to the shops and walking through like the car park they just got a bit dirty um, they are that rubber TPU style and I know that people get worried about authenticity when it comes to Chanel they should always have a serial number on them so I the serial number is actually on the underside of this tab for this particular style but if you are worried you can always just get it authenticated with real authentication I do have a coupon code for five dollars off with real authentication so I put the details on the screen and it'll also be in the description bar under the coupons and discount section in the description bar below so yeah Chanel shoes should should always have a serial number on them I don't know of any fakes that put serial numbers on them so you know maybe they exist but I know authentic ones always do um, because I already own these sandals uh, I know how to authenticate them I knew what to check for all the hallmarks and that sort of thing like the detail so that I know that they are definitely authentic and I also trust Japanese sellers as well I really do they have very very strict in Japan now um, they didn't come in the box they just came with one dust bag the price on these was $900 Australian okay and then I had to pay the shipping on top with FedEx it worked out to be about just under a thousand dollars with Rakuten Global Express because they don't ship international the particular seller that I got them from and that is actually a deal in my opinion because these sandals even though brand new if you could get them they were about I think they're about fourteen hundred dollars Australian but we didn't get a lot of these styles in Australia and we certainly didn't get a lot of sizes so these are in a size 35 they are a size down from the shoe that I usually take also on Vestier Collective these shoes are always selling for over $1,500 pre-loved as well so I think that that is a really 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 good deal next piece that I picked up so these are all items I've kind of picked up in the past few months um, is ready to wear you see on the back this is something I had been wanting for quite some time is a Jadio 8 print cashmere jumper thing but I actually got the jacket version so this was from Vestier Collective, pre-loved, but in my opinion, it's in great condition. I can notice that there is like uh, fluffing sort of to the fabric and especially like under the arm sort of thing. If you can see it, probably not, but yeah, there's like fluffing to it. You can kind of maybe see it a bit in the light there. So it is pre-loved, minor fluffing, minor peeling, not too big of a deal in my opinion, especially because I know I've saved at least couple thousand perhaps on the retail price because this was sixteen hundred dollars Australian all inclusive so that includes even all the tax so I got this for a really 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 good deal it is the cardigan version um, this is actually in the uh, size up from what I usually take so this if you're interested if you happen to chance upon this or whatever um, like another one of these and on Vestia Collective I actually took the size up and this is a better like it's not oversized on me but I think the jumpers are oversized so the cardigan is not oversized like the jumpers I have thought that this would have been oversized but it's not it actually fits just right I could have gone even a higher size but obviously it was only the FR40 that was available anyway because when it comes to pre-loved you can't always pick and choose what size is going to be listed so yeah very happy with this I thought that that was a bargain price and now I finally have one of these jumpers I've been wanting a Dior Jardin 8 jumper for a very long time it's been on multiple wish lists of mine um, I wouldn't rule out getting another one because I do really like the feel of this and I just like the style of it it's definitely my kind of casual style and then the last items that I have are from Hermes 
Now, these actually got delivered to me. I did a phone order with my sales associate, like email order, and then I just had to pay by um, bank transfer, EFT, and she organized to get these sent to me via same day courier after the funds cleared, of course. And only a couple small items inside. First one, also I don't have to pay for delivery as well, they do free delivery. First one, I mean, of course, of course. I see this online, I'm like, well, why buy online when I can just buy with my sales associate? Even though I'm not wanting to go to the store right now, um, I can get her to deliver it to me. And that is what I did. And that's one of the advice that I give you guys when it comes to like, you know, if you're wanting to get a score bag from Hermes, your dream bag, don't get tempted by online. Just ask your sales associate if she can help, he or she can um, help you out. And this is the Twilly that I got. This is the new season Twilly. Kelly per Kelly and Pearls, it's called. And this is in the color Rose Bonbon, Canard, and I think it's like something else as well. Can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it's like yellow, pale pink, uh, uh, more of a Barbie pink, bubblegum pink kind of color, and then a uh, blue. And it's actually got like pearl like that's why it's called kelly and pearls because these are little tiny like pearl beads on the actual design it's got the hermes paris there at the end the h so it's got a really nice detailed design if that focuses in that is the tag there for the color code and then the other item is another small item as well because obviously it's a small bag and it's in a box that I've never received before. I've never actually bought this item. It's the first time I've ever bought this kind of item from Hermes. But it looks kind of similar to that of a Twilly box, yes. And I picked up the Maxi Twilly in the new Slim style. This is, I can't remember the name of it, Rue, it's no, Goupard's Maxi Slim Twilly if I can get the camera to focus again. Okay, so that's the tag there. Oh so yeah, this is a Maxi Slim Twilly. I think the Maxi Twillies are 180 centimeters. Yeah, they're 180 centimeters, that's right. Cause I thought that if I sort of tied this to my handbag um, and I did like a twist style, then it'll probably end up being around about 100 centimeters in length, maybe 90 centimeters in length. So I'm planning to use this actually as like a handbag strap. Also, uh, you can use it as a belt too. This is, I would more so use this as a belt than what I would use it as an actual scarf, just because in summer when you're wearing like a plain sort of plain single color dress, like a white dress, anything like that, I could just wrap it around as like a sash belt. And the price on this is, 485 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty reasonable for a very, very long silk twilly. Like, and it's very thick as well. I think the Dior twillies are like $400. So, um, and they're shorter than this. So yeah, I think that this is really, really good value for, for what it is and how versatile it can be. Like a belt, neck, scarf, handbag, strap. So um, yeah. So that is all from today's haul video. Um, whatever I can sort of find available online or link down below in the description bar. Also, uh, like I said, the details for Rakuten Global Express if you want to still shop uh, Rakuten Ichiba from Japan. Uh, yeah, that is all. That is everything. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. You should be sleeping. 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 <laughs> you should be sleeping. Yes, you should be sleeping.